Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you create the appropriate relationships between the tables within your database, you need to set the properties of the table joins to ensure that they are set up as you would like. The main join property that you will need to set is the referential integrity of the join. Referential integrity refers to the built-in set of rules that Access uses to ensure that the relationship between the data within the joined fields of the tables is valid. Now it ensures that every unique value within the related field in the child table or the many table in a one-to-many join has a corresponding value to which it's related in the parent table or the one table in a one-to-many join. So this ensures that when you delete a record in the parent table or the one table in a one-to-many join that there aren't orphaned records in the child table or the many side of a one-to-many join. When you talk about orphaning a record, what it means is that you would have, for example, an employee ID in the orders table that referred to an employee that did not exist in the employees table. So it would have meaningless data. And referential integrity is a way of preventing that from occurring. Now in order to set up referential integrity, the relationship between the fields within the joint tables has to fall within three rules. Now first, the related field in the parent table has to be the primary key for the table. Second, the related fields in both tables must share the same or compatible data types. For example, auto number and number are compatible data types even though they're not the exact same. Third, both tables must belong to the same database. As long as you've got a relationship that falls in line with these three rules, you can enforce referential integrity upon it. To do this, just check the checkbox for Enforce Referential Integrity within the Edit Relationships dialog box that appears when you create a table relationship. Now below that, there are two additional options that can be set once you've selected to apply Referential Integrity. Cascade Update Related Fields and Cascade Delete Related Records. Checking the Cascade Update Related Records checkbox will ensure that if a data value is changed in the joined field within the parent table, that the change will be cascaded to the related data in the joined field of the child table, updating those records as well and making sure that the association between them remains legitimate. Checking the Cascade Delete Related Records will ensure that if you delete a record in the parent table, all of the related records in the child table will be deleted as well. So you can check whichever options would be appropriate for the type of join that you're creating. Now note that there's also a join type button in the Edit Relationships dialog box. If you click it, you'll be presented with the three types of possible ways that the data between the tables could be related in the Join Properties dialog box. Most often, you will not need to change these settings as you normally want join type 1 in a relational database. However, if you do change the join type settings in this window as part of the join between the tables, note that this permanently alters the way that data between the two tables is related. You can select either option 1, 2, or 3 in the join properties dialog box and then click the OK button to return to the edit relationships dialog box. Note that when you choose a join type other than the default of 1, the join lines shown in the relationship window change to join arrows. These arrows reflect the direction of the join between the two tables per your selection in the Join Properties dialog box. Now when you've set any of the options that you wish to apply to the relationship in the Edit Relationships dialog box, click either the Create or OK buttons that appear to set the join relationship. Also note, to edit the join in the future to change any settings, you simply double click the join line itself that appears in the relationships window to view its properties in the edit relationship dialog box again. Also if you need to delete a join between tables, you can simply right click on the line and choose the delete command from the pop-up that appears.
So once again, just create all of the necessary relationships between the tables. And you can close it when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.